Let's take a quick tour in the greenhouse. It's early March, 2023, and I'm excited to just show you what things survived the winter, how things are going in the greenhouse, and just kind of what plants we have going. I'm Natalie Lucier from Waykeeper Farm and Nerdery, and this is the greenhouse tour for early spring, 2023. So here are some snapdragons that survived the entire winter. I was really surprised. They're about to flower again soon. And yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of floored by what survived this year. This is some cilantro. And then here, this is a clementine that we started from seed. We just used a clementine seed from store-bought clementines. It just sprouted them inside. It obviously had some cold damage. It definitely went below zero. It froze in this greenhouse. So I don't know exactly what to expect. I'm hoping it perks back up. It still has a little bit of green leaves and looks like it might be able to come back. So we'll kind of, see how that happens and whether that happens or not. And then we have here some broccoli. We already cut the middle stem. And then these are the offshoots that we'll be eating very soon. Here, you might notice we have some wool as mulch. So I have a whole other video about why I'm starting to use more wool as mulch here in the garden. So check that one out. But here I've got some chamomile plants, teeny tiny. These are all started in soil blocks inside. And I just transplanted these out not too long ago. And you can see that we have have. This is some dock and then I also have some sorrel so I'm excited to be experimenting with more perennial plants that I don't have to keep starting you know all the time and just kind of keep harvesting from so I'm excited about that. We've got some spinach, some beets here that are doing quite well and we've been eating these throughout the winter and then this here is called celtus and I love this plant. Uh, you, they're essentially like a lettuce, but what you do is you let the stems grow very large, uh, maybe this large is where it tends to grow, and then you eat the stem part. You can also eat the leaves, obviously, but the stem kind of makes like a nice celery, which I think is where the name comes from, Celtis Celery. Uh, lettuce. So yeah, that is a really cool one that I love growing. And here we have a couple more seedlings again. So this is a wawatai cabbage, so a Chinese cabbage. I'm excited to grow for the first time this year. And we've got some more Chinese broccoli here. This is called Tong Ho. I'll put the link below as well. And um, it grows into this <laughs> essentially. So this is basically the baby plant. This is a more grown up plant. And what you do is you eat these side shoots and um, this is actually chrysanthemum so <laughs> chrysanthemum is the English word for it and uh, tong ho is the Chinese word and what you do is you eat these parts let me try to find a good one to cut and show you yeah it's basically like in the elbows here if you will or in the the armpits so you pick these and cook them and they're super tasty super delicious we love um, growing this and this usually this the middle of branch here. Looks like it got some sort of damage. Maybe it was cold damage, but usually this would grow really tall and we would have a ton of it, um, but it's a little bit bushier. So I don't know exactly <laughs> why that happened, but we'll definitely be harvesting it. And we try to do that before it flowers too much. So here I have some more bok choy coming and I think that might have been a potato that I planted there at some point as well. But you can see we've got some nice regrowth and um, another uh, chrysanthemum over there and those are calendula plants which I'm excited about as well and then back there two tiny tiny plants you might not even see them um, those are leeks so I'm hoping to get some nice leeks as well speaking of leeks so these are the leeks I planted before the winter so they're looking like they're almost ready to harvest maybe uh, hopefully soon. We've also got a nice purple cabbage coming. It definitely slowed down during the winter, but it seems like it's picking up the pace again. And these are going to be some Brussels sprouts. So I'm excited about those too. And this here are very, very sad looking uh, pomegranates. So again, we just bought a store-bought pomegranate, used the seeds from that, spread them inside. They were nice and bushy and had all these nice leaves, which they lost during the winter. I'm not sure if they're gonna come back, but I'm hoping and giving them a chance. <laughs> On this side here, I've got my peas going. So I have about 20 pea plants, again, that I started in soil blocks inside, and I just transplanted them. It's getting still pretty cold in the greenhouse, but it's sunny, and I think peas can handle a little bit more of that cold. 
So this is how we start a lot of the seeds. I usually do these inside these soil blocks. Uh, I'm a huge fan, <laughs> definitely tons of soil blocking videos online and I'm happy to do one if you want more info too. So over here, these are daikon radishes. Let me try to show you what it actually looks like here. Yes, so you can see they are very massive. They're amazing. They're starting to go to seed or going to flower. So we definitely need to eat these and start the next succession. But uh, we eat these in soups and stews and they're just amazing at sucking up all the flavor of the other stuff that you're cooking. And then these are some beautiful mustard greens. And then right here you can see we've got more um, of these beautiful Brussels sprouts. Here we have more broccoli and you can see I ate, we ate most of the center stems and now we're working on the shoots and the kind of mini broccolis that we're going to be eating next. And this is our arugula plants. They're also starting to go to flower and we're trying to eat as much as we can, but we've also started some other plants here uh, from bok choy to more broccolis and some cauliflower as well. And yeah, these seedlings are doing really well. And then we've got some more kale, which is doing great. Some celery that's coming back after being eaten from ourselves or being cut back. Some nice Mizuna. I just love these colors. It's just amazing to me. And then over here we have our carrots and some of them are a little bit bigger than others, but these did really, really well for us and they grew during the winter. I was kind of surprised by how much they grew. And then I have, you know, some, some weeds. I basically just let it be what it was going to be for the winter to kind of preserve the soil a little bit and just have that soil life there. I thought it was better than trying to keep it bare when I'm not actively growing anything. And then we have some more lettuce here that self self seeded, which I'm excited to be able to start eating as well soon. And here you can see our first nice cauliflower of the season is really coming along. And I'm just really happy with all of the brassicas right now because there is no slug damage and there's no aphids. And I think it's just the season and the time of the year. Um, we're just kind of lucky right now. Um, you can see these were actually installed to put row cover on all of these beds. That's how we started the brassicas here because we just had way too many cabbage worms or cabbage butterflies um, depending on what you're used to calling them and this kind of saved all of these plants from being eaten in the beginning of the season or essentially in the fall and the summer and now we're reaping the benefits. So that's my quick tour of what's been happening in the garden. If you enjoy these kinds of videos definitely leave a comment let me know let me know what you want me to talk more about less about and I'll definitely do my best and then you might have noticed that behind me there's a brand new watering situation that we've got set up here and I have a whole other video about how we use our sump pump water to now water the greenhouse which I'm super excited about, so check that out.